many of you uh, saw my video on manifesting the things you want in your life. And in there, I included a section about how to lose the fat. And this one is just going to be just about that, how to lose the fat. Lose it, lose it, lose it. I include a free weight loss elixir recipe because scientific studies have shown that doing the following things in, the, in this video will help you create the body you want to manifest. You can lose belly fat. First, you must believe you can do it. Your subconscious before it will manifest in life. First, you must believe you can do it in your subconscious before it will manifest in life. Scientific studies have shown that doing the following will help you create the body you want to manifest. Manifest your new body. Eat plenty of soluble fiber. Soluble fiber may help you lose weight by increasing fullness and reducing calorie absorption. Try to include plenty of high fiber foods in your weight loss diet. And one of the fibers that we recommend, soluble fibers, is Metamucil. Metamucil is a great item to uh, give you the recommended amount of soluble fiber in your diet. Also, it's something that uh, is very good for your cholesterol. Also, it uh, cleans the intestines and makes sure that no, nothing builds up inside your body. So make sure that you see at the end of the video where I give you the weight loss elixir, which part of the elixir is Metamucil. Two, avoid foods that contain trans fat. I know it's impossible to get away from trans fat because basically it's in everything. Some studies have linked the high intake of trans fat with increased belly fat gain. Whether or not you are trying to lose weight, limiting your intake of trans fat is a good idea. Yes, it's a good idea. It's a good idea to start reading recipes, uh, the ingredient labels in what you're eating. You know, when you pick up a box of cookies or a cake or whatever it is of uh, refined carbohydrates, look to see about the minimal amount of trans fat. Three, avoid alcohol. Excessive alcohol intake has been associated with increased belly fat. If you want to reduce your waistline, consider drinking alcohol in moderation or abstaining completely. Enough said. Eat a high-protein diet. High-protein foods such as fish, lean meat, and beans are ideal if you're trying to shed some extra pounds around your waist. Another thing you can do is take in more uh, beans and lentils and uh, vegetables because all of these things help you uh, increase the amount of high protein in your diet. Five, reduce your stress levels. Stress may promote fat gain around your waist. Minimizing stress should be one of your priorities if you're trying to lose weight. Again, there's so much good material out there. Even the video I put up about manifesting in your life what you want is a good video to follow every day. Uh, there's plenty of good information on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of audio books available on YouTube about stress. So it's all in your head. You can control the stress by accepting that life is difficult. And then you, you overcome your problems. You have all your life. Somehow you've always uh, come up and solved your problems. So reduce the stress level will help you reduce your weight. Manifest your new body. Don't eat a lot of sugary food. Excessive sugar intake is a major cause of weight gain in many people. Limit your intake of candy and processed foods high in added sugar. You know, cut out the sugar in your coffee or tea or whatever drinks, because once you get used to not consuming that table sugar, uh, it gets a lot easier. Also, don't eat candy, cake, cookies, all that kind of stuff with added sugar. Keep away from it. It will help you in the long run. Do aerobic exercise, so cardio. Aerobic exercise is an effective weight loss method. Studies suggest it's particularly effective in slimming your waistline. One of the things is don't have food before you exercise. 
Because by not having food, you're burning up what you have stored in your body and will tend to lose more weight that way. But if you eat, you're going to use up the, what you just consumed rather than what you already have on your body. Eight, cut back on carbs, especially refined carbs. A high intake of refined carbs is associated with excessive belly fat. Consider reducing your carb intake or replacing refined carbs in your diet with healthy carb sources such as whole grains, legumes, and vegetables. Again, the peanuts, walnuts, almonds, all those kind of uh, nuts and grains and vegetables will help you feel full and take the place of those bad carbs. Because, you know, when you're hungry, whatever gets to get in your belly will fill the spot. So why not give it something nourishing and have less uh, damage to your body and your blood circulation. Nine, replace some of your cooking oils with coconut oil. Studies suggest that using coconut oil instead of other cooking oils may help reduce abdominal fat. Now, you hear one day coconut oil is good, one day you hear it's not good, but the current studies and current scientific research shows that coconut oil is a healthy oil. Ten, Perform resistance training, basically lift weights. Strength training can be an important weight loss strategy and may help reduce belly fat. Studies suggest it's even more effective in combination with aerobic exercise. And what, what they're saying is, if you build up muscle in your body, that muscle is burning calories as you just go through your normal day. If you build up a few extra pounds of muscle, it, it burns that much more fat off your body. Now, we're not talking about becoming muscle bound. Just increase the amount of muscle mass you have, even 10% will make a dramatic difference in your weight. 11, sh avoid sugar sweetened beverages. Avoiding all alcohol or forms of sugar, such as sugar sweetened beverages, is very important if you're trying to shed some extra pounds. Avoiding all liquid forms of sugar. You know, a, a diet soda has got 260 calories, one can. You know, you drink two or three of those a day, you're really putting on the pounds. So avoid sugary sweetened uh, beverages. Twelve, get plenty of restful sleep. Sleep deprivation is linked to an increased risk of weight gain. Getting enough high quality sleep should be one of your main priorities if you plan to lose weight and improve your health. Yes, sleep is very important. It's also a good idea to go to bed at the same time every day and get up at the same time and get in a pattern of sleep because they're showing that during your sleep, you're, you're cleaning out all the bad uh, things, the, the garbage that's in your brain and you're cleaning it out because the spinal fluid is flushing out all the toxins from your brain during the evening. Another thing is make sure uh, to verify that you don't have sleep apnea. If you're falling asleep during the day or if you're feeling listless and tired, it could be sleep apnea. You might want to have your uh, person that lives with you check on how you sleep. The other thing is you could ask your doctor for a sleep apnea test. Thirteen, track your food intake and exercise. As a general weight loss advice, it's always good to keep track of what you're eating. Also, what kind of exercise are you doing? By keeping track, it forces you to say, oh, I didn't, I didn't do exercise on Tuesday. I didn't do it on Wednesday. Here's Thursday. I missed two days. Keeping a food diary or using an online food tracker or two are two of the most popular ways to do this. Keeping track of how much exercise you do and how much food you take in will both get you where you want to go. Manifest your new body. You can lose belly, belly fat. First, you must believe you can do it in your subconscious before it will manifest in life. Eat fatty fish every week. Eating fatty fish or taking omega-3 supplements may improve your overall health. Some evidence also suggests it may reduce belly fat in people with fatty liver disease. You know, it's just uh, another thing you can do. Still eat, but eat the right things. Read the right foods. And, uh, you know, the Catholics used to have uh, fish on Fridays. 
maybe you should get back in that habit of every Friday having a full fish dinner. 15. Stop drinking fruit juice. When it comes to fat gain, fruit juice can be just as bad as sugary soda. Consider avoiding all forms of liquid sugar to increase your chance of successfully losing weight. Some time ago, I stopped drinking orange juice. When I found out, it was almost as much sugar as a can of soda. Add apple cider vinegar to your diet. Apple cider vinegar may help you lose some weight. Animal studies suggest it may reduce belly fat. There's so many things that there's written about the benefits of uh, apple cider vinegar that you should do some Google research on it, get to know more about this, and also when you buy apple cider vinegar, make sure it says that it includes the mother, which is basically the pulp of the apple and the apple cider. So make sure that when you buy apple cider vinegar, it has what's called the mother. 17. Eat probiotic foods or take a probiotic supplement. Taking probiotic supplements may promote a healthy digestive system. Studies also suggest that beneficial gut bacteria may provide, promote weight loss. Now, they're showing that the discoveries currently are that the gut bacteria has far-ranging effects on your overall health. And one of the best things you can do is uh, have yogurt, add that to your diet. Also, if you don't have time to eat yogurt, you can have uh, probiotic supplements. But I recommend the yogurt because it tastes good and also builds up uh, a larger amount of bacteria in your gut. 18, try intermittent fasting. I know that this is a hard one for all of us. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern that alternates between periods of eating and fasting. Studies suggest that it may be one of the most effective ways of losing weight and belly fat. Now, I know that it's hard to say, well, I'm not going to eat for a day, or, but you don't have to eat for the day. Just fast part of the day. Also, try to have dinner before 6 o'clock and try to reduce the amount of food you take after 6. 19. Drink green tea. Regularly drinking green tea has been linked to weight loss, though it's probably not effective on its own, but best combined with exercise. So if exercise is part of your life, it's good to add green tea to it. And you're going to see in the elixir, it includes green tea. 20. Change your lifestyle and combine different methods. Losing weight and keeping it off is impossible unless you permanently change your dietary habits and lifestyle. Now, all of us have been struggling with weight all our lives, yet there are people that do it. And what you have to do is change your dietary habits and lifestyle. And a habit can be changed with 21 days of changing what you do for 21 days, and it becomes a new habit. So... Listen to this video, download it. Uh, I could put a link to download the, the, the pages so you can have a hard copy of this uh, material. Your imagination is your preview of life's coming attractions. So imagine yourself thin. Imagine yourself doing what you got to do to lose the fat forever. Now here is the weight loss elixir. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons of metamucil. One glass of green tea, preferably uh, the uh, decaf type. Put that all together in a glass and drink it down. So, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with the mother, unfiltered. As you see in the picture, it says with the mother in that little red box. Uh, two tablespoons of apple cider of uh, metamucil, green tea, put it all together in a glass and drink it down in the morning like your orange juice. So use the green tea to be the liquid in your, in your mix. So I hope that you get a lot out of this and that uh, it will help you conquer the, the battle with fat. Now please subscribe, like, and share.
like us on Facebook, and be to be notified on fa on YouTube. Click the, the the bell button, and you'll be notified every time that we put up a new video. You know, you can lose the weight. Please share this information with everybody. Start making that that weight loss elixir. It tastes great, and stop using sugary drinks. That's a number one thing you can do. All right, take care. We'll see you on the next video. Please share, like, and subscribe. Happy weight loss. Bye-bye.